Hi, my loves, and welcome back. So we've been seeing these trendy purses everywhere, called Zaya, with its beautiful and intricate designs. Now, she actually comes from a background of a mother who was a sculptor, and her dad ended up founding the company that founded the Bratz dolls. So now we know where she gets her inspiration. So I want to let you know, are her bags worth it compared to an Amazon bag, or are they not? Dun, dun, dun. This is the beautiful box that it comes in. Now, my first impression is I love this rose reddish color here with cult Gaia in the front. Now let's open her up. Ooh, okay. I love the fact that she is on display. I feel that I could just put her on top of my dresser just like this. I feel that that's absolutely stunning. Now let's take her out. Oh, and she does come with a little pouch to keep her put away. I really like that. I love when we have pouches to keep her nice and clean and to keep her from um, getting dirty or anything happening to her. And then we have a little note. Let's see what it says. Cult Gaia. This unique design is handmade by skilled artisans using exceptional materials. Slight variations are to be expected and what make the piece unique. Enjoy. I really love the fact that it says that. So pretty. Okay, now let's open her up. So this is the front and we have the Cult Gaia in gold. And I just love the way that she is this iridescent pearl color. This is the front, this is the back. And I love the pearls. I love that we have a really big one here and then we have smaller ones around and then big ones right here. I feel that the variation of the pearls make it uh, a work of art. Very pretty. And now let's open her up. Now I put a couple of things inside and I wanna show you what actually fits inside. So I have here my wallet. I have here my Chanel compact. And then I have this little pouch that I always carry with me because I have three different um, lipsticks that I use and I never want them to dirty my purse. I always keep them in this pouch and that way they don't go all over the place. And then this is the inside. Now keep in mind, I could still put a cell phone in here. Now, what I don't like is the fact that it doesn't open up all the way, but if you are using it, as just as a clutch. I know that you wouldn't keep that many things inside, but I would like if it would have opened up. Um, there isn't really any material inside to keep things from in any way breaking or any things like falling out. I would have liked some protection on the inside. And then the cl little closure it's just a little gold closure. Now the purse itself is very beautiful. The color is very beautiful, but it would also have been nice if, if it could just have opened a little bit more. This is her. This is the Amazon Cuts Backs purse. Okay. So this one is $59.99. And my first impressions are, so this is more of a white color compared to the pearl iridescent. Now we still have a little bit of the iridescent color going on, but I do notice that she does have a little bit of scratching, which does worry me because she is 100% acrylic like the other one, but the other one did not come scratched. She is scratched. Now this is the front and this is the back. So obviously there's no logo. And then we have here the pearls. Now I do feel that the other ones are a little bit larger, but I do appreciate the fact that we still have the variety of sizes. We have one big here, another one here, and just smaller and medium sizes all around. Now let's open her up. Ooh, okay, so we have, we don't have a lining, but we do have clear here on the sides. So that way it can protect my things from coming out. I like that. Now I was really excited about this, this chain. So I can do 
the chain or I can take it off and keep it as a clutch. But actually when I was taking photos, it ended up coming apart. So that really worried me because I thought that this would be something that was a plus. Now this is the chain. Now I love this gold color, but I do think that if it came on the other purse, I feel that it would definitely stand out more than with this white. I do feel that maybe a slighter or much lighter color would look a little bit better with the bag. Okay, let's close it up. Now, if we put it up like this, looks like we can, I do have a little bit of trouble closing it. This is it closed. This is with the chain. Now, another thing too is I actually put my phone in here earlier and my phone got stuck because of the sizing because it is a little bit smaller than the Cult Gia. Now let's try putting some stuff in there. So I have my Chanel Compact. I have my pouch, Tiffany pouch. And I have here my lip glosses. Now let's close it up. And let's bring that chain up right here. Now I do struggle a little bit with closing this one. I thought that it would be a plus to actually have the chain. And this is it with the chain. So, which one do I recommend, Colgaya or Amazon? Colgaya. There is nothing like this color. Now, I had searched high and low, and I wasn't able to find anything in similarity. This color is absolutely beautiful. It looks very rich, and it's very much a work of art. Where I feel that this Amazon bag really isn't a standout, and she is. Now, what I would do though is I would do high low. I would splurge on her and then I would do a low outfit, meaning something that maybe I found from Target or from Amazon because it would really make her stand out. Now, where I thought that we were going to end up going is I thought that with this bag because of the chain, I thought that it would end up being something that I would recommend, but she ended up falling apart and it was really disappointing. So it lets me know because this bag does have weight, perhaps using a chain wouldn't be the ideal place to go. In fact, it just ends up being a clutch, something that you use for the night or for a special occasion. And she's just a beautiful work of art. And I'm so excited to see what else Cult Gaia has in store for us. I love you guys so much for watching. Mwah!